Hello, welcome back to my Hero Boys Let's Play. And as you can see, the whole town screen's changed. There is no more heroic chest. I did open it um earlier today just because I wasn't sure what happened. Got one Fafnir soul for the record. Um, but yeah, we have about ten minutes to my arena time. We have demon dolls up right now. We have the secret wealth. Perform one summon in the soul atrium. Oh, so this is so. Yeah, I opened my heroic chest. I guess I got a. Some of the soul atrium. Maybe I should have waited. Maybe would have gave me a crystal for the day. Anyway, that's how it worked. Um, sure, we could do this. Um, monsters, chapter seven. Here we go. Health cliff. There you go. Yeah, the soul atrium. We'll talk about that in a minute. And the arena is over here instead of right here. They moved it to the other side. Grand arena is the same place, but the arena, they moved it to the other side. Kind of throws me off, like I said. Everything's in different places. It's kind of a bit disorienting, to be honest. And I'm surprised widescreen's not back. Widescreen's supposed to come back later this month or next month. So I just, I just kind of assumed that it's going to come back with the revamp, but it didn't. So let's see. Lars. Yep, so... We could probably slow it down. We don't keep running fast the whole time. Uh oh. Well. Okay. Got Helios. No, we're doing Isaac. Isaac. Ah, well, I guess we're going to read this now. Or, oh, it just goes to the thing. We don't have to read it yet. That's good. Um, let's try this one. We lost the last fine. So we got seven minutes to read my time. So don't have a whole lot of time to dawdle. All right, Celeste is down. Are only seen the only hero that I was, they had on their team that's gonna stop any of the status effects. So now Ode's back up. We should be able to just clean up now. Nice. Ah, yeah, my arena. I'm so used to arena being right there. See, I keep doing it. I keep doing it. Papa Schlumpf. Sebastian's gone. Jew is gone. Nice. 
Zappos is in the seventh place. Got two hits left. There's Death Dealer. Did we beat him yesterday? When we tried him, or did we try? Maybe we didn't. Wow, Alexander trying to get us. Alexander really after us. They think they're the best place. I mean, they did beat us in war today, so. Um, we'll try Death Dealer. He's a lot stronger than me, though, so we'll see. Ooh, we lost Rackness, probably game. That's game. Wow. <laughs> wow, we did better than I thought we would, but no. Nope. I think we just want to try Kurt. Ah, Marina being right there is really messes me. We'll just try Kurt here. Rena's not where I normally see it, guys. He keeps throwing me off. Keeps throwing me off. All right, so let's see. Let's grab Corius. Yeah, though the power difference, though, this is why we usually lose to Kurt. Just that power difference is just so great. That 200k power, like I said, stronger course would do a lot for us. Um, like I said, pretty much need course. Don't really have other options, so you just kind of have to run with this. So let's go. All right, Celeste is down, Rackney's down. Up oh, there goes Arachne. And that's the thing that just the uh, Leanne just we need a stronger course. Co strong course can really is really good versus Leanne, but we ain't got it. Till that time we we kind of get destroyed by um Well, he ended up killing her in the end, but just really hard. Like I said, our chorus just ain't strong enough. That's the biggest uh, obstacle there. Um, but yeah, I guess we could try a Grand Arena fight real quick. We still have like not a lot of time, but uh, we're not going to rank on the regular arena, so I don't think it matters too much because we're one minute from a uh, time closing time. All right. Go, Lars. Nope. <laughs> Mara's going to be top DPS again for sure. Look at that, not even close. She probably, I think she has, she has more DPS than the rest of my team combined. I 
Hope this is not going so well. Come on, Aurora, you can do it. Come on, she's doing it, she's doing it. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on. I don't think we're gonna get it. It's getting close. Amazing how far we're going here, just almost just by herself. All right, while well, Julius is gone, come on. Oh, that was so close. I she almost she almost hard carried at the end there, almost, almost. Okay, boom, and we finished seventh. That's not too bad. All right, so, boom. Grab that. Spend some energy, then we'll go look at all the um, new stuff. All right. So this is called the Soul Atrium. Uh, there's info. It says Soul Atrium. The Soul Atrium is an ancient sanctuary of the Dominion, which you can summon new heroes for your team. Obtain soul stones, evolve them, and also get grand prize. Every single hero in the game is available for summoning a Soul Atrium. Uh, you can either spend emeralds to perform summons off as you like, or use a resource called Soul Crystals. You get free Soul Crystals once a day. They can be used both for single or mass. A mass times 10 guarantee at least one reward of higher than common rarity. You can view all of available rewards in the rarity in the all rewards list. The rarity of the reward affects its drop rate. The rarer the reward, the lower your chance of getting it. Grand prize tab shows the most valuable rewards. You have a chance to get fully evolved cleaver and you're guaranteed to get them after 350 summons. Awesome. So you're guaranteed to get them after a while. Should have read this in my video about this. I didn't I didn't think to click on the info. If you manage to summon Cleaver sooner for his guaranteed drop, you'll get the second highest value reward, uh, 50,000 soul coins. You can only get a hero for the grand prize category once. Soul coins are not limited, so. All right, so you can't get Cleaver twice, which is how it used to work. Hero wish lift tab lets you increase chance of getting soul stones. Or a full on summoning certain hero on the increased chances displayed below this selected hero's avatar. If you put one hero into seven slots, several slots of chance to stack, increased chances doesn't guarantee you'll get that hero or their souls the next summon. It improves the base odds to release all possible rewards the same rarity. You can change your selection anytime. So return to Soul Atrium. So the hero wish list, put a hero on a slot, tap on that hero's avatar you could select. Same hero for several slots to increase their drop rate. All right, so, okay. Well, no need of Aurora, I already have her absolute star. But you can sort them by class, which is super nice. I'd like to see this tab, like, implemented in, like, the combat where you select your heroes. Like, that'd be super helpful. There's, like, ratings based on, like, what people in the game think these are heroes rank. Astros way overrated. Way overrated. He's not the best tank in the game, guys. Nobody likes Chaba. Marksman. Daredevil. Probably about where she deserves. Artemis, where she deserves. Fox, it feels a bit, bit underrated here. Oh my gosh, this is like the old Fox design. This is the old version of Fox. Like... Nobody's ever seen an expression of anger or doubt on this cute face or the contrary. Fox is like a bright light in the darkness, sealing her ally's hearts with joy and courage. Once she grabs her gun, enemy has no chance. Yeah, like, that's that's not what she looks like. That's what she used to look like. That's cool. That's the old... Said she doesn't have... So they changed like, how her ears look. Her ears used to be a lot bigger, a lot more visible. Um, but uh, 
Yo, that's a throwback. Um, mages. Like, we could put Iris here. You could stack them. Two or 50% chance getting her. Um, there's like different rarities and stuff too. There's Krista. Rachne. Rachne's high up. Thea. They have her new version. Maya's pretty good. Wow, Elmer is way overrated. Elmer is way overrated. Ishmael's underrated. Sports. Sebastian's underrated. Four, he should be 5.0. Best hero in the game isn't even close. Um, let's see, grand prizes. Amira, Aiden, Iris, Jet, Soulcoin. Cleaver guaranteed after 350 summons. Julius, so he's only 330, so that only gets him to five stars. And you can only get him once? How are you supposed to get these heroes to absolute star if you can only get them once? Okay, and how's their class type? So these are the grand prizes. So there's nine different grand prizes, eight different heroes here, plus the soul queen. Very rare, Morgan, Isaac, Martha, Nebula. Kind of sucks, Martha Nebula, and the very rare just name for Raid Celeste. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how like different the drop rates are from how they used to be, but we'll find out probably. A lot of rares. So, Aurora's rare. What's common? Oh, Aurora's also common? Is this just like a higher you get more souls? Like, this is like, rather than like, this just gets you a few souls or whatever? Or all, all yeah. My guess is like, maybe it just is not like a full summon. Like, these are like full summons. Right, and these are just like souls. Because these don't show a stars. These all show stars. Um, and these don't. That's my guess. Is like, commons are just souls of X hero. Um, Ishmael being common. Getting Ishmael common's pretty good. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? We can get some crystals from that email. Apparently I didn't claim on this account, so we are gonna uh, reset and gonna just go claim them. Alright, let's reset. There we go. We get the crystal, soul crystal. All right, so with the soul crystal, we can actually summon 10 at a time here. We might want to set up our wish list though first, see what we want to wish for. Who do we need? Like, who do we need need? Corvus, we almost got him. Yeah, they haven't added any new heroes to the soul chest. Um, Iris and Amira. Amira's pretty good. We might just put everything into Amira. How far are we on her, though? Maybe we don't need Amira. We might not need Amira. All right. Well... Can't get Julius yet, right? So. Cleaver. Like, getting heroes isn't that hard in this game, but uh, Julius, maybe something you do something like that. Like, what are the grand prizes? Oh, Aiden and Kayla. How was my Aiden and Kayla? They're not absolute star yet, are they? Oh, they are. They're absolute star. Well, that doesn't matter then. 
Um, Julius or Iris are probably the best ones to go for. Soul stones. Julius. Iris, we only have 95. We can buy hers with trophies. I don't think we'd want to. Um, I think, honestly, Iris is probably the play here. So where's my wish list? She's a mage. There you go. We'll wish. We'll try to put her in my wish list here. See if that helps us anything. Um, let's go for it. And there's like an animation. It's like fully animated. Oh, wow. There you go. We got it. New hero, Iris. Awesome. So the wish list worked. New hero, Iris. Read hero's story. Gifted and audacious in equal measure, Iris used to teach rookie sorcerers the art of magic, but her students' unequivocal adornation could never state her ambitions in pursuit of the arcane. She stole the ancient Umbra tome from the archdemon's private library, only to end up trapped within the book for years to come. Released at last and forever bound to the dark arts, Iris has emerged as a warlock. Back to stats. Nice. Great. New hero. So what's, this was a grand prize, wasn't it? Did we just get a grand prize? I think we just got a grand prize. So that's actually pretty cool. We got some Isaac Sills, which, whatever. It's cool. It shows you like their portraits, though. They actually, these look pretty cool. Oh, we got more fox. We got a lot of fox souls. But there you go. So the wish list worked, I guess, because I just tacked her up my wish list, hit uh, open, and we got a new hero, five to five stars. So 330 souls worth. That's pretty good. Um, Dante. Yeah, you get a higher numbers. You're not getting one in three a day. You're now getting like five plus a day. So that's actually a big improvement. And it is the same cost, open 10 at a time. Um, wow, some of these arts are pretty cool. Like, wow, great. And you get some other rewards. Um, we'll claim these ones, but uh, you can also you just also reset this quest. If you pay 1500, you can get 2000. Um, wait till there's like an event where you need to like spend emeralds though, because this is like a good spend emeralds quest. Um, and then you like for like, cause that will count for to spend emeralds, you'll get 500 back. So just wait for like the time you want. Um, yeah, I've achieved this one. So, okay. So this will actually have a banner here. So on my on my account, like Mushin Shrooms, literally my main account. Mushin Shrooms, literally the only hero I don't have absolute star, so I just stacked her in my wish list. But I didn't get her when I when I hit the summon button. But uh, now we know that this works. Now that we know there's like an achieve label, I can just stack because I just keep Mushin Shrooms stacked on my main account. Hopefully, I'll get the grand prize because I need exactly 299 souls. So the grand prize would be 330 souls. So that actually absolute star her for me. So that's good. Um. Yeah, so you would have to figure out what we would want to wish list for next. Because we can't get Iris again. Um, we'll have to buy the rest of her souls. But uh, we got her five stars. She's pretty good. I like Iris. She's okay. Um, and then you get some. So I get ten Aurora souls plus a uh, scene. If there was like a collect souls quest, it'd be better to do it then. Um, it probably would have been better to save the those crystals for collect souls. So West, I think you get a crystal a day. So Spooky Fest is coming where you need to collect a hundred souls or sorry, a thousand souls. You might want to save your crystals for that. But we'll claim these just for the video here. And I get a second one. The XP potion. So it looks like every five summons you get a reward of like said. So I would get faceless. So this is pretty cool. So this is all pretty cool stuff. Yeah, we achieved that, so I think we need to reset our wish list. Oh, yeah, it actually reset it because we got our wish. So who would it be our next one be, Julius? I guess we just wish list, or we could have Mira. I think we... Uh, da, da, da. 
Supports. Could stack Amira. New players. Here you go. New players. Advice for new players. Just stack Sebastian until you get him to the wish list. <laughs> that's 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 a that's an advice. Just to, you could just stack Sebastian to the absolute charm. Like he's like because you li could literally just stack him up for two hundred likes. Yeah, because Sebastian's super important. Um, if you don't have an absolute star yet, like maybe just stack Sebastian. Um, we could stack Julius. Could stack Julius. I mean, I guess I did have said we'll just stack Julius. All right, so there's that. That's pretty cool stuff. I'd say it's a big upgrade over the old uh, heroic chest. Like it's it's a huge upgrade over it. Old heroic chest kind of sucked. Ellen's over here now. All right. Let's grab these. All right. What was the quest we're looking at? Okay. They changed the graphic for the casket scene. The guardian caskets. A normal guardian box. That's what they're called. Uh-huh. We got a mirror five star already. Oh, there you go. There's Iris. Boom. It's the hero we probably might eventually develop. Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. So to see that actually work, just like boom, stacked up, stacked it up, got it. All right. Oh, wait, do we still get server messages? Legendary Cleaver. Oh, just as leaders, like, just Cleaver. You don't get messages from uh, the other heroes, I guess. Well, a lot of people get it, like said, so I get, it looks like Cleaver's way easier to get than it used to be. Especially because of a specific one. But uh, I guess I don't get a message for um, Iris. That's sad. Would be cool. Not like it matters, it just creates spam, but whatever. They don't get a message for opening Iris, apparently. Um, I forget what we were doing because I get distracted by the soul atrium. Tower. Oh, we could probably do another Grand Arena fight too, huh? Yes, yeah, like I said before, like if you didn't claim your daily uh, heroic chest, you'd miss it. But now I think you could just stack your crystals, save them for events, and boom. All right. Yeah, you're guaranteed to get Cleaver after 350 summons, so I would probably recommend uh, not picking him as your plus 50. I mean, you could, but you're guaranteed to get him after so many times, so you might want to just do your wish list for other heroes you need.
Like I said, pretty much you're guaranteed to get Cleaver within your first year of playing, so. All right. So we finally, he finally completed it. Like I said, we got the, we ended up getting the Jess, even though like he didn't beat the, the node. So we got enough points, though, because we had two partial nodes. You just had to get the points. You don't necessarily have to clear the nodes. So we do get uh, the four chests, so I can read that later. Um, Grand Arena fight. We can go look at Clash, and then I'll probably be it. Nice. Didn't have Kane patron. Oh yeah, there's one other thing I could do to get some free emeralds. I can rate heroes. I have at least range plus four rank. You can get 50 emeralds per rating. Um, let's see. So if I go to stats, I can do this, boom, and I can hit rate, and then I can collect 50 emeralds. Nice, just like that. Right, and uh, I don't know, maybe we should wait and see if uh, the stacks, I don't think it counts as a buy. I don't think it would count as a buy X emeralds, but maybe we can wait till there's like an event. Maybe we can do the rest for ratings then. Oh yeah, we have some of these too. Let's claim them. Let's see, give me a buzz arm insignias. Oh, nice. Greater kindness insignias, kindness insignias. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. All right. So let's check on the here real quick. All right, I got a target, so let's... Wow, no totem. Use my secondary team here, but plus Raji. Okay, blocks the stun from Moloch. All right. Now I still haven't lost all my water titans. For like another attack. Nice. Awesome, so if they give me another line, like I'll be able to, but uh, only target I have right now, and I'll let them, like, so we still have one more day, so. Uh, oh, these are good items. We'll grab these for sure. For sure. All right, 
Yeah, now I gotta say, Soul Atrium, though, definitely one of the best changes they've made to the game. Like, it, this is definitely a more player friendly change than the previous ones because this is, this is a pure upgrade. Like, this is, there's nothing about this that is worse than the previous system. Like, it is pure upgrade. So, uh, like I said, I mean, this is, this is all good. So, and it looks cool. I don't know about the redesign of Strongford, though. I'm a bit more mixed on that, but. It's it's functional. I just it's gonna be bothering me for a few days that the arena's in a different place. But it is what it is. All right. Um, that will do for this episode. I thank you all for watching. Come join me for the next one. We'll see you again soon.